I'm here in Stephen's kitchen where we were last week doing abstract sound recording. This week I'm going to show you the steps necessary to take a pizza box combined with household cooking materials and make a rain-like sound effect. So I'm going to start by adding different materials. We've got a selection of different cooking ingredients here. And the important thing to consider is different sizes, different density of materials and obviously different quantities. So let's start by adding some mixed lentils. some green lentils, some caster sugar, some Japanese rice, a little bit of rock salt, some black peppers, just a small amount, and finally quite a bit of brown sugar. Okay, so we've finished making our pizza box and we've got different kinds of materials inside it. Let's have a listen to what kind of sounds it can produce. So that's our rain type sound effect. Remember to consider amplitude, pitch, texture, timbre and space when you're doing your recording. And remember importantly, experiment with lots of different household materials and objects. That way you'll create variety in the sound recordings you do for your project. 